Hey, what's up? This is Samuel Banner from Lost Society, and I proudly endorse Rotor Sound Strings. So we're just ending an eight-show tour in the UK and wrapping it all up at the Underworld in London. We've had good crowds, we've had amazing venues, everyone's just vibing, everyone's having a good time, so it's been a sick tour for sure. The worst nightmare for a musician is having gear malfunctions. So having stuff that you can rely on 100%, be it guitars, amplifiers, strings, picks, and everything, having everything exactly where it's supposed to be is just, it's, it's, it's the dream for me, and that's exactly what it's been for me for the last couple of years now that I've really nailed down all of the companies that I love to work with. I've been playing ESP guitars six years now. I have three of these on stage, and I have an LTD Phoenix on top of that, so it's kind of like the traditional T-bird shape, which I really love too. We have EMG pickups on all of them. I've been working with them for almost as many years as I've been with ESP, which is just fantastic. I have passive H2 pickups on these guitars, but on top of that I have the Alexi Laiho preamp, which kind of gives it a bit of a spark. And, um, you know, traditionally you'd have just one 9 volt battery in the back of the guitar, but because we have to have everything louder, we have two of them. So we have 18 volts of lightning in these EMG passive pickups, and basically the idea is that I like passive pickups more than active pickups, but the preamp just gives a different kind of boost to the pickups, so that's why we just kind of found out that that was a perfect match for us. And a big shout out to our producer, Johnny, because he actually introduced me to that particular combo that we've been with now for quite many years, actually. This one is in drop A sharp tuning. On top of that, we do drop C, we do drop C sharp, and we do drop B. So it's four tunings during every show. And, you know, some people may prefer doing the whole kind of down tuning thing with a pedal, but more is more. Let's, let's be honest, so I just want more guitars. So um, that's what I'm rocking with on stage guitar-wise. This particular one has been actually modified by my good friend who's also our drum tech. He absolutely customized the hell out of this and I will show you this up close because this is the best thing that is on this guitar. <laughs> and it always cheers me up on stage. very kind of percussive guitar player to be honest is for me I, I really like to beat the strings and I think I need always guitar strings that just withstand that they don't go out of tune all the time and for me you know I, I rock a 72 gauge string for the thickest string that's just it's it's pretty much much a must for me for drop a sharp uh, for drop C I use a 64 the kind of lightest tuning with that we have which is drop C sharp I would use uh, maybe a 56, maybe a 60, but you know, it, it, it just has to be the thick string. And I mix it in with the Michael Amott signature set, because for me, it kind of gives me the perfect balance between a very heavy bottom, but then the, the kind of lighter high strings, because obviously anyone who knows Lost Society music, and especially my kind of playing style, we like to do a lot of shred solos, but we have very heavy riffs. So kind of getting that balance between these two worlds is just, it's worked out really well for me, because obviously Obviously, the, the harder you hit a string, the, the bigger the possibility that it's going to go out of tune. And obviously, when you're playing a live show, you just don't have that possibility. It has to sound perfect. And when you're playing a big riff, especially with open tunings or down tunings and stuff like that, it just has to sound brilliant, otherwise everyone's going to hear it. <laughs> I like everything to be as simple as possible. I never kind of got into building pedal boards and stuff like that. I appreciate the hell out of that, and I love that a lot of people do that, but for me, I just want a killer tone. I have a rhythm tone, a lead tone, which is pretty much just based on the rhythm tone. It's a bit louder, you know, you, you have some delay, some reverb, 
So campers for us, it was just, it's easy to fly with. You know exactly what it's gonna sound like and the sound tech loves that also. And you know, it's, it's just a stress-free zone when you're on stage, when you know that everything's gonna work, everything's gonna sound exactly like you want it to sound. I really hope to see you all somewhere down the line on the road. We are Lost Society, we have five records out. The newest one is called If the Sky Came Down. And on this record, as on all of the others, you're gonna listen to a lot of heavy riffing, a lot of solos, a lot of guitar metal. And uh, I, I really hope you enjoy it. See you somewhere. How is that, man? <laughs>